today I am here to do my top favorite books of 2016! Woo! I am so excited to talk about my top favorite books of 2016. I have a lot of favorites here today. I have a total of 12 books to talk about. I will be short and sweet about them because I don't want this to go forever. Six of them are my top, top, top favorite books of this year, but I'm gonna talk about all my favorites from this year because I finally have a lot to talk about, but I'm so, so, so pumped to talk about them today. So without further ado, I'ma just jump straight into it. The first favorite from this year, which also made it onto my top favorites list for the year, is Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, Maureen Johnson, and Robin Wasserman. Oh my god. So this is essentially a bind up of 10 novellas by these lovely authors from the Cassandra Clare world of the Mortal Instruments. The Infernal Devices, the Dark Arthur series, and soon to becoming The Last Hours. So this follows Simon, one of our characters from the Mortal Instruments, as he goes to the Shadowhunter Academy. We get stories from lots of characters about their time there, stories about family connections of, of other characters in other books. I can't say too much for spoiler reasons. So good. George Lovelace is my absolute bae in life. That much is all I'm gonna say about that. This was such a great book because it had so many different stories in it. It was just just great to see a little bit after the Mortal Instruments series because that ended in a very sad way so it was great to have a little bit more after that although it still was not the same as the series but I can't speak too much about that for spoilery reasons but definitely pick this up if you love the Shadowhunter world if you've read all of the books thus far also read it before Lady Midnight because there are some things in there that will come up in Lady Midnight possibly or just give you a little bit more backstory before we start Lady Midnight but such a freaking fantastic bind up of novellas. Definitely recommend. Continuing on in that fashion, I have The Bane Chronicles by the same authors. Now this one is a little bit older. It's from 2013, before the wrap up of the Model Instrument series by Cassandra Clare. This one has lots of stories about Magnus Bane, who is a warlock and he has lived a very, very long time. So I think we start in the 1700s and we just have a few short stories without his lifetime with some of our characters in our different series and the characters that just pop up that he travels with. So this was a really great story as well. We had 10 novellas as well just to read about. Some were better than others, but Magnus is just a sassy ass warlock. So it was like great to just like read a little bit more about his life and find out a bit more about him. And I really, really enjoyed this book as well. <laughs> that moment you realize the next book is also a Cassandra Clare book. The next one is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare, the first book in the Dark Artifices trilogy by her. Now, I was like preparing myself for this book by reading the other two books I just talked about. So this was my third favorite. It's in my top favorites list for the year. OMG. Not that I doubt Cassandra Clare, but like she just keeps coming up with amazing stuff. I've been reading her books for like six years now and we're starting another series and she has to write another series as well so she is just firing through but this one was such a different beginning to her previous series the other ones people started out not knowing about the world the magical warlock shadow hunter world and this one we start out with characters that we met in city of heavenly fire which is the last book in the model instruments and we are beginning with people that have already been in the world of the shadow hunter born raised in this world so i think that was such a fresh and new beginning for this series oh so good I can't even. I really, really loved this book. It was so different from the other series. It was so freaking fantastic. So definitely pick this up if you love the world and you haven't. Read both the other series in chronological order first, but I'm so excited for Lord of Shadows next year. And I'm not sure how I feel about Last Hours yet, although I love some of the characters already. Lady Midnight is everything to me. The next two books I have here are from the same series, and they are both favorites for this year, and that is Cinder and Cress books one and three in the Lunar Chronicles series by Marissa Meyer. Now, these are my two favorite ones out of all of them. I didn't like Scarlet, the second book, as much, and Winter was pretty damn good. I'm not sure if I just forgot to favorite it or it just wasn't my favorite, but these two were fantastic. This is a great series. We are set in the future. We have colonized the moon. There are scary people with bioelectrical magical powers that can get inside your mind and make you do things. There are robots and cyborgs, space travel. It's just just a great series. Each book is sort of like a fairy tale retelling in a very vague sense and we meet uh, lots of different characters along the way and of course the last book is epic. We have our final battle with all of these fantastic characters. It is a great
great series. It is like all consuming, fantastic. I've read all six books in the series, including the two novellas in that number. And it is just such a great series. So if you haven't picked this one up and you love a little bit of sci-fi, fantasy, uh, definitely pick up this series because it's fantastic. But these two books were my favorite in particular. Cinder is just like pretty much our main character because it is the first book. She is just the bomb and Chris is just so cute. Ah, uh, ah, uh, all the feels. This was such a great series. The next book I have here should come as no surprise, and that is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. Dude, Sarah is the best person ever. Oh my god, her books are my favorite. Like, I love Throne of Glass so much, and this series is, like, also my absolute favorite. I can never remember which one I like more because they're both so fantastic in their own way. Sarah is so good with high fantasy, and she's just so great at switching it up. Expectations out the window like this the first book in the series was fantastic but this just took an absolute turn for the crazy like it is just amazing I love her romances for a little bit like older the, the, this series in particular is quite new adult so my characters are a little bit older there's a bit of sexual content so be aware of that if you're like 16 or younger that the series may not be correct for you just yet but this series has everything fantasy adventure and sexy romance which is like my absolute favorite thing ever so Sarah is like my favorite writer because she has all of that in there it's such an amazing series we follow Feyre and she is a human and she is thrust into the world of the High Fae. So I totally did a book review for this, so I will link that down below because I'm I just I'm a little proud of that book review, not gonna lie. And if I have book reviews for any other ones, I will also link them down below if you want to go check them out. But this was a great second book. I cannot wait for the third book in May, A Court of Wings and Ruin, Akko War. What is up? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. The next book I have to talk about is also another on my top favorites. I'm so excited to talk about it, and that is Voyager by Diana Gabaldon, the third book in the Outlander series. Now, I got told the other day that they're filming this and they're like at least half to three quarters through filming this and I was just like, tears. But oh my God. The first book was pretty goddamn fantastic. It's been a while so I don't remember exactly. Second book, I didn't really enjoy this one. This one. So good. It has brought the series back for me. I didn't doubt it, but this series is so freaking fantastic. It is a long series. It is a very adult book, so be warned of that. I did a book review for this one recently after seven months of not reading it. I just did a book review, so links down below. I can't say anything because I don't want to spoil anything, but Jamie and Claire, everything everything. It's, I really can't say too much because we are third book in. But uh, the romance, the mystery, the adventure. <sighs> Um, if you're on board with the series, you know what I'm talking about. The next book here is pretty much the only contemporary. I have like one and a half contemporaries on this list. And that is Confessed by Colleen Hoover. I talk about this one so much. This one is fantastic. The romance, we have Auburn and Owen. A beautiful romance, not without its twists and turns and some trigger warning issues in this. So it was intense, but such a great read. I love Coho. You already know that. It is like a new adult almost like most of her books except for Slam so be warned of that as well but this was just such a great series I think that Owen being a painter as he is um, what he uses for inspiration which is confessions from people is the most absolutely stunning thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Just that touched me so much and I just love this book because it has just like so much meaning. It makes me just feel so happy and sad all in one. So it is a fantastic freaking book, honestly. So if you love contemporary, please pick this one up. The next two books I have here is definitely my favorite series of the year. It is Beyond Epic and I just cannot wait to talk about it. And that is The Six of Crows Duology by Leigh Bardugo. Just beautiful books inside and out. I loved this series so much. Just the characters, the development we go through, the adventure, the storyline, the everything. We have six amazing characters that we learn about. We learn everything about them. We go through a massive heist and a few. Kaz is an absolute beast. Nina is awesome. Inej is just like freaking the spider monkey awesome lady. Wylan is adorable. Jesper is hilarious. Matthias is so freaking cool. 
It was so witty, snarky, funny, just so much adventure packed into one. Twists and turns you don't see coming. Please pick it up because it is so freaking fantastic. I cannot recommend it enough. The second last book I have here today is Empire of Storms by Miss Sarah J Maas. The fifth book in the Throne of Glass series by her. Can't say too much again because we are so far into the series. But I love this series. We start out with Selena Sadothian. She's an assassin that is in a salt mine. And she is pulled out to play in a championship to be the king's assassin. That's how we start. That is not where we are now. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know about this series, you will be goddamn shocked. This is so good. We get introduced to a few more characters. We have really nice pairings as we go through the story. We swap between characters, storylines, and I really like that. Probably my favorite emerging characters in this one are probably Lorcan and Elide. We have so much drama, so much intensity. The story is wrapping up because we only have one more book in the series, so it is absolutely crazy history that we learn about. We are just firing along in this series and it is so good. I love this series so much. Beyond epic. It is the most epic series I've ever read. And last but not least for the year is the Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee. I'm still lending out my book, so dust jacket. You got it. Now this one is the half contemporary I was talking about. It is a little bit sort of futuristic sci-fi in the tiniest way, but it is also very contemporary. We are set in the year 2118. We have a tower set in New York that is a thousand floors, which is ridiculous. I cannot comprehend that. But we are following basically the lives of the richest kid and a few other misfits that are not on the top floors. And and it's such a great story. I always say it's Gossip Girl, but also better. There are some crazy storylines in here. There are some things you just don't expect to happen. High, high, high drama. And if you love, you know, being in on secrets that other people don't know, and you're like, oh shit, when's this all gonna come out? Then this is a freaking fantastic book for that. All the secrets, all the lies, Ugh, so good. I love this book as a non-contemporary reader usually. This is so great and this the drama is absolutely everything. So you should definitely pick this mom up if you haven't and you love contemporary and just like the little hint of like sci-fi. Well there you have it. There are 12 books from this year that were favorites and top favorites for 2016. But as I said before, link all below for the books and the reviews and everything else you need to know about these books. I had such a great reading year in the aspect that I read some absolutely fantastic books as you can see. I'm excited to see what we get into in 2017. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Of the model and uh, uh, the model instruments Tia, uh, <laughs> the Lady Midnight trilogy. Wait, what is it actually called though? But this was such a good, go such a good, and uh, so this is before the wrap up of the si uh, uh, the wrap up of City, <laughs> the wrap up of the Mortal Instruments series, and the other one for a court of wings and fury. <gasps> I'm running out of breath. Damn it, this balance. I hate that you can't see it. Nah. <sighs> what do I never remember saying? Ah... Uh...